guys, Steve here with the Fitness Hub, and we're just looking at my legs here before my lower body session. And uh, I was just putting this up because I don't often look a lot at my legs, and I'm trying to improve the posing of them. And I found actually I recently bought this new pair of underwear, and my legs were looking better in them. Uh, the quad sweep and everything was looking better. I'm definitely still quad dominant. And I need to work on that, but things are coming along. My hamstrings are coming along. The lighting here wasn't amazing, but this is just a bit of an update on my legs and how pants make your legs look better. They do. Right, so this is my go hard or go home set and this is my first one since getting back from holiday and it felt awful. Seriously, real bad. And uh, this is 157.5 kilograms and I got two reps. Those of you who know my channel know I normally wear a weightlifting belt and I am not wearing one and this was not on purpose and it makes quite a big difference there's quite a few variety of reasons why weightlifting belts help they help support your back when you contract your abs into them you have more muscles working this makes overall your muscles a bit stronger and you can push a bit harder and you just have more confidence in general with belts I don't know the ins and outs of them but they definitely help and uh, this goes to show I finally realized that I was gonna have my belt on, so I whacked it on, and uh, it doesn't mean you should rely on a belt. I don't wear it on my hypertrophy days, but they definitely help. So here I am back to my usual lifting, and uh, this session actually was a bit all over the place. And But luckily, yesterday I did a lower body session, and I did 157.5 for my uh, max set, and I managed to get four reps pretty comfortably. So uh, they're back on track, which is good for me. Overall, I'm happy with how my squat's going at the moment, even if this session was not spot on. You're not always going to have a spot on session. So here's just a few quick clips of me warming up for sumo deadlifts. This is why I don't want to deadlift without straps. For this one at least. That's going to rip. is my go hard or go home set and I believe this is 180 kilograms and this actually felt very very comfortable just to keep you most up to date yesterday I did sumo squat uh, deadlifts again and got 185 kilograms for four and that felt very comfortable I don't know if I'll turn back to see how that form was, but it felt fine. Now it straps off. That's how this goes. Yeah, why? But my deadlifts have got so much weaker recently. If you watch past videos, I've been doing standard deadlifts. And I'd be bossing them up. Heavy, heavy weights. Definitely heavy weights. And these are substantially lighter. This is just the sumo squat. Uh, deadlift, of course. Something up with me. I know I've got my own health issues, but just hope it's not down to that. My spots recently have been absolutely great, apart from today. Maybe it's just an off session. Well, deadlifts, but let's see how these go. My protein liquid chalk is the uh, liquid chalk I use. They're cheap. Just I wouldn't recommend uh, buying this on its own because then you have to pay for shipping. So you get it with your way. Here I went to no straps and that definitely made it awkward. My grip strength is not great and I don't think straps are a negative at all. And I've actually gone back to using straps for all of my working sets, not my warm up sets, all my working sets because my hands have just been shredded, basically just absolutely shredded and not in a good way. Here I'll just let you look at my form and see how I'm getting on. Uh, if you've got any tips, any comments on any of it, please let me know because I'm always looking to improve. My 
big focus for deadlifts at the moment is power, the speed of the bar. So that's my big focus at the moment. And also not thrusting with my hips so much. So I did that a lot this session. <laughs> 